How many years' studio. experience have you yeah. had making kombucha? Oh, three. Three years, yeah. really? Don't just make my own kombucha. I make my own kimchi, oh. my own sauerkraut, my own tempeh. I would buy kimchi off you. It's deli- I've got a jar like this big that's been going for like two years. Are you it's selling the most it? delicious thing. No, it's my mm. jar of kimchi. Well, but I can I, bring you some. Okay. I'm happy to bring you I some. I would have bought it off you, but now <laughs> you're offering it for free. I'll just take it. I'll give you some. Oh, thanks. Um, oh, hey there. Welcome to Our Student Edge, where we're answering your questions about student life and life in general. Hello, welcome Jason. Thank, Thank you for joining much. us for this episode of Our Student Edge. Thank you for having me. Always What's a happy fun to fact? I'm kidding. Pass on. <laughs> so Some people knowledge. may not know this, but when you were in uni, you were a mature age student. That is correct. Yes. So technically in Australia, if you start your degree over the age of 21, you're a mature age student. Now, were you also working at the time? Yes. Full yes. time? Full time. Oh, so you're working full time and you're doing a degree. Full time doing a degree. Wow, mm. that's that's a lot. Yeah, it and was. I'm sure it is also. I'm, but I'm also sure there are loads of mature age students who are in that same position. What made you want to go back, at, you know, and do your degree despite the fact that you were already working full time? Well, I started a degree straight out of uni, um, a useless one that I would never use, but I won't say what it was. Um, I did a couple of semesters of that, and then I realised, oh, this is actually not for me. I want to earn a bit of money. I'd moved out of house at that point and I just I just started working. So I started, yeah, working part-time and then I got a full-time job at Dome being a, a cook, which was really lovely. So I did that for a little while and then, yeah, I, know, I got engaged and I just always wanted a degree. No one in my family had a degree and it was, I don't know, it's always kind of assumed that I'd get one, that I'd go to uni. So I thought, oh, I'm going to do it and just always been interested in like marketing and branding um, and I had a mate that ran his own little agency. Uh, we were pretty close, hang out regularly, and he kind of, yeah, talked me through a lot of the stuff that he was doing. I was like, this is definitely something I can see myself doing. Um, and I wouldn't wouldn't have chose that straight out of high school, so it was probably a good thing. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'd go back and give it a shot. So you graduated from a degree of? Advertising, marketing, and public relations. Ooh, love it. Yeah. Sounds nice. Yeah. How interesting as well that you didn't know what you wanted to do straight out of high school, but, like, you took some time. When you're in high school, like, you're in this bubble, right? You still, you know, a lot of, you know, this isn't the case for everyone, but you still live with your parents, like, you've got your friend group. There's not, you know, maybe you play sports, right? But there's, you work part-time job. But that's your little bubble. When you get out there, you get into the world and you actually start working, you start travelling, you start doing things outside of uni as well. Like, you can get experience in uni, but it just, it broadens your perception. You get exposed to a lot more. We had a lot of mature age student edge members write in and ask us, how do you find that balance of working full time and studying full time? Because it's a lot. That's, a, that's two full time schedules that you're trying to fit into one full time schedule. So when I knew that I was gonna go and go back to uni, I kind of switched things up a bit. So I knew I wanted to do a job that was a little bit flexible. I'd still get those full time hours, but I'd have a little bit of flexibility. So I ended up going and working in the disability sector. So I worked at a disability mentor, which was really good. So I had a bunch of clients, I think I had about five at, at the most busy time, and I would pretty much see them throughout the week of an equivalent full-time job, but there, some would be at night, there'd be a couple on the weekend. So it's just finding that flexible job, like a flexible way of making money so that you can still commit to studies. Mm. And also having a flexible employer helps as well. Yeah, yeah, but not everyone has that. No, 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 no. But the other thing as well, as a mature age student, you've obviously, you've done stuff out in life, right? So you've, you've managed your life a little more than someone straight out of high school. When working, you've got to stick to deadlines. When you're in school, I mean, get to school. If you're a little bit late, you get the little yellow slip. That's about it. But at uni, you have to be on time to a lot of things. You can skip things, but we won't say that. But just having a job before then and having some life experience just meant that I prioritised the right things at uni. And I was always on time and I always did my assignments just because I had... I knew myself a little bit better and I knew how I worked, I knew how long it take, took me to do things, so I was just able to prioritise and manage a little bit better. So you actually don't regret, like you actually think you liked your time at uni as a mature age student more than when you yes. were fresh out of high school? Yes, uh, yeah I did, I did. I was, I think I was the second, probably second oldest in my degree. Um, oh. Everyone liked me, I mean uh, I was usually the pick for group assignments just because I was organised. Ooh, right, Mr right. Popular yes, over here. Yeah, it was good. And the best thing, the lecturers loved me. Absolutely, the lecturer and tutors loved me because in comparison, I wouldn't talk during lectures, I wasn't giggling, I wasn't messing around at the back. I was sitting up front, 
right? Like a good mature student, listening, and they loved me. And that definitely made my uni experience easier. So you enjoyed being a mature age student because everybody loved you? Yeah, pretty much. Well, uh, well, well, maybe they loved my work ethic or, you know, the way I studied or the way I listened, but yes. So, okay, if you would say, because like a lot of people, when they think about the uni experience, they think about that fresh out of high school in your, you know, late teens, early 20s. How did you make the most of uni as a mature age student? Because you also, like when you're, like I remember when I was in uni, I was, you know, 18. I actually, I was 17 when I started uni. Mm-hmm. That's how young, yeah, I was. And by the time I finished uni, I was 21. So I, like my priority, yeah, right? My priority during those years was only really uni, you know? But for you, you went into uni already having a full-time job. So you have other priorities. And you, you said you were engaged. Mm-hmm. So you had multiple other priorities. How did you still make the most of uni? To be honest, it just prioritised the things that meant more and the things that were important. Mm. So I feel like that's also my kind of learning and, and working style is that I didn't bother much with the fluff. And this might be counterintuitive, but I didn't join any clubs at uni. Like I wasn't part of any of the like social clubs or the optional things. I went there. I did my time. You know, I did the assignments. I attended the lectures. Today's unis are so flexible. Everything gets recorded. We live in the mm. digital age, which is great. But I think I just focused more on the things that mattered most, mm. which were those core things, job, uni, wife. And I think also as a maturation, you have a better support network. Yeah. Like you, you know what you want, like people around you know you. Like it was so good having like a committed partner slash yeah, fiance during uni that I could just lean on that I knew would be an absolute rock if I was had no sleep because I was studying until 12 o'clock. Cute. And I was just a moody bloke. Should be there, should be fine with it. Aww. Yeah. What's your advice to any students who might be wanting to go back to uni knowing that they will be a mature age student? Do it. Like, mate, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. So, Whoa. like, there's, there's no reason to wait. Do it. Yeah, I do have, like, mad respect. Like, I had a few mature age students in my courses, and, like, some of them were so sweet. Also, some of them were, like, quite a lot older. And I actually, I think like it was actually really refreshing for me as an 18 year old to be like, oh, this person's in their early 50s and they've decided to change their careers and go back to uni. Like it gave me so much hope for like the future if, in terms. If this isn't what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Like it's matter. like, oh, well, that's actually like, it's not the end of the world being 18 and not doing what you do. And I actually reckon by the time we're 50, we'll see a lot more mature age students going back to uni because people 100%. people's life changed so much more. Plus now I think the most recent data, the average Australian switches switches career yes. paths, what, six times? Yes. I think it's six times. Where yes. back in back in the day it was two at most. Mm. So I think what in yeah, forty forty ish years it'll be ten. Who knows? <laughs> Twelve. But the great thing is that we have the opportunity to do that, right? Yeah. And we have the opportunity to do such a drastic career change. Like you can literally go from if you wanted to from, you know, a plumber to a doctor. And you could do that. You could do that as a 30-year-old. You could do that as a 35-year-old. It doesn't really matter. Thanks for joining us in this episode of Ask Student Edge. Keep your eyes out for the next episode. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.